Well, I'm down here at the hotel building in the yard beside it. And this winter, oh, about a month or so ago, was it, we had this couple feet of snow and it had this tree break. Well, it's just on the inside of the fence between my neighbor and myself. And the top broke out of it. So I'm just going to take this whole tree out and try to lay it this way into the yard. I think you can see here where the top's completely broken out of it and laying over to the neighbor. So I'm going to tie a strap around this up there a ways, put some tension on it with my pickup and a strap and pull it into the yard. One branch that came my direction already. So see if I can't get this laid over here. strap in here. Uh, go up as high as I can. I don't want to be too close to this. Some good tension this direction. I think that'll kind of put it in the right direction. And I see if I can just pull it over. Somewhere is my strap. I really like this cordless. Got a 14 inch bore on it and this tree was probably 12 inch at the base. Walked right through it pretty easily. There we are. That's the hinge where it broke. There we go. Strap out from under here. Well, through the winter, remember, I had a couple pretty nice days, so I came down and I took out a couple box elders 
an ash. This here was an ash. Um, grass is starting to green up, so I'm going to have to come down and trim out all my branches and get those hauled off and then get these trunks sawed up before it gets to be time to start mowing grass. Can't do that today. I've got to haul water out to the cows and then grass is coming out there and there's some sagebrush that I want to take my brush hog and mow some of that stuff back. So I'm headed out to our little piece of ground where the cows are at and mow some sagebrush. Well, this is kind of the totals that I ended up with in hauling water to this 3,000 gallon tank over the course of the last six months, which got us through the winter. I ended up being full uh, at November 7th is when I started out at a full 3,000 gallons. I have hauled water eight different times, which includes today, which I hauled a 1,000 gallons. So I've hauled a total of 4,750 gallons over the course of the winter. There was the first month of November, we just had the two calves, and then we had a third one show up. And in the last week, we've had this little one show up, but it's been you know, non-impactive on the amount of water that we drink. So anyway, at 4,750 gallons over the last six months, they have consumed between 26 and 27 gallons a day on average. So we're going into summertime and that will most likely double, but I have a 300 gallon tank that I also supplement them with through the summer as I move them from different portions of the pasture. So anyway, that's kind of the summary of the first winter hauling water out here is very doable. Here in Montana, even though we have some cold weather, we do have the Chinook winds that warms things up intermittently, which allows me to haul water out and kind of stay on top of it. And as much as I can keep that tank full, it works well for keeping the whole system open. So just as a review of the last six months, I think it worked fairly well. That's the update for this winter. When we first picked up this place, this is going on our fourth year. We've had it for three summers. This place was covered with this sagebrush. Down below, it was just a mass covering of sagebrush. It had run cows for a while, but its place was abandoned for a number of years. So as you remember back quite a while ago, I showed a video of burning some huge piles of sagebrush. Well, it's because I took a drag in my old Farm All M tractor and I ripped out a lot of this sagebrush, piled it and burned it. Well, I didn't get all of it, but it really made a significant impact on it. Well, I've got some more sagebrush here that is coming back from those that took out some sagebrush even before we had it. So there's some short sage that's coming back that's oh maybe a foot tall or so and there's a fair bit of it. Well the winter snow has packed down all the old grass and the new grass is just about ready to start coming up so what I'd like to do before the new grass comes back I'm going to put this brush hog mower on the back of my a farm all tractor and try to lower some of this sagebrush see if I can't keep it knocked back and allow the grass to come a little more freely. So you can see it's trying to come back in here this was knocked down I think with a mower maybe five six years ago and it's starting to come back but I'd like to stay ahead of it I'm gonna knock it back again to allow the grass to come back. So even through here you can see it's trying to come back again. Sagebrush sucks up a lot of moisture and it steals it from the grass. So I'm gonna to try to stay on top of it and knock it back and allow the grass to come in. I have a little bit of heavier sage, a little higher on this hill. I may even try to push that boundary back just a little bit. And here we've got some that's old mature sage a little bit up from our hay ground you know it's pretty thick in here so i'm going to kind of push this back a little bit i don't mind some sagebrush sagebrush will hold snow and it's actually a good place 
for deer to hide their fawns in. And when our calf was born, that mother would actually hide that calf in some of the sagebrush. So I don't want to take it all out, but there needs to be kind of a limit to it. It has a purpose, but it can't overextend that purpose too. So I'm going to go hook that mower up. So this is the type of thing that that brush hog is doing, is taking this sagebrush and just knocking it back. It won't kill it, but it'll open up the ground to where some of this other grass is a little more free to come in. So this is some of that pasture that we walked through to begin with. Now that sagebrush is knocked down. So this is gonna open it up a lot. It takes these bunches out this old stand of grass from last year that didn't get mowed. As I mowed, you can see even the cows are appreciating opening up this new grass. They, they were down further north, but now they just migrated up to what I just mowed. So hopefully this will kind of open it up. I'm trying to get this grass to come back in a little stronger. It's been choked out for so many years. I talked to the neighbors, a couple different neighbors, and they have never seen this piece of ground without sagebrush on it. So we're kind of trying to reverse that trend. So kind of fun playing out here. Appreciate you following along.